excited that I almost drove away without buying the coffee for the car behind me. And I realized, and I put my car in reverse and backed up, I almost had to buy them a bumper too. But it was awesome. Now think about the reaction. The server actually told me 13 consecutive on average times does somebody continue to buy the coffee. So think, they are now happy. They're handing you a cup of coffee. You smile. You're surprised when you get it. Hopefully you remember to buy the car behind you a coffee and give the server a nice tip. You're going away happy and so is somebody else. It is contagious. Now, I'm hoping you take some notes down because I want to give you a bunch of ideas. So you've got some things with you. Um, I just did a thousand acts of kindness with the Niagara Health System in their hospital. And they had so much fun, the energy, the engagement with their team, and it spilled over to their patient experience. But here's something that they did. They did a thousand acts, everyone together. And as I was there, one woman, her name's Nancy, she said, I was in the grocery store and this elderly man came up and he, he was kind of shaky and he had a cane. He tapped me on the shoulder and he said, excuse me, is that your black car in the parking lot? And Nancy went white and she said, yes. And she's thinking, oh my gosh, he hit my car. How can I be mad at this sweet man? You bought my coffee two weeks ago. She said, oh my gosh, how did you know? He said, because it really meant something to me and I watched you drive away. Wow. Then he said to her, you have no idea how much that coffee meant that day. I had just gotten a telephone call and I was on my way to my family because my sister had passed away. True story. You know, Nancy got a gift because we often don't know what our acts of kindness do. We often don't see that person. But this man grabbed her and hugged her and said, there was somebody kind that did that for me. And it made a difference.